I thought early on, like, how do these bands play some of these songs 10, 15, 20 years later and still enjoy them? A song like Down With The Sickness is still one of the biggest highlights in our set. The reaction it gets keeps it exciting for us. It does something to people. That's what's fun about it. It's a blessing and a curse. It's like, you know, it's, there's a lot more to disturb than a wah, ah, ah, you know? So if I had a dollar for every time somebody asked me to make the damn noise, I mean, I could retire a third world country. Another way to die. There can be no other reason why you know pushing the scene and coming. Consequences we cannot deny. We may reveal in time. Our first real tour was with Danzig. It was kind of a strange bill for us because there was a band Six Feet Under, Hate Breed, Hate Breed were this new band with a new song on the radio and just really didn't quite fit in with that crowd. I think it was great though looking back because it really challenged us to have to win over a crowd of people that never seen us or never heard of us before. Yeah, ironically enough, even though we were the baby band on the bill, we ended up getting in trouble for hogging most of the women on that tour. So I mean, they took away our backstage passes, they took away our buyout money, they left us with no space on the stage to actually set up. I had to stand in this little four foot by four foot cube. For the band that you know was the odd band we were doing the most damage. Yeah, it was definitely a benefit to be in the opening van when we were four single guys at the time. And <laughs> they just felt as we lose the sky. A sign of devastation coming. We don't need another way to die. When we repent in time. You can never knock anyone for their enthusiasm. When it crosses the line, when people start stealing their way into dressing rooms and trying to grab clothing, like I had this one nutcase girl go ahead and put together this collage of pictures that she presented oh, yeah. to me. Now, I made the mistake of having a few drinks with her and messing around with her on one night way in the beginning. That's all it takes. And that's literally all it took. <laughs> and I'm looking at the pictures and there's a picture of me leaving the hotel in one city, me going into a restaurant in another city, me uh, coming out of a car in another city. And so she was following us the whole way, taking pictures of me as I was doing everything I was doing. And yeah, so she was uh, uh, prime example. Even though your lessons learned, sometimes you repeat the same mistake on occasion. But. This particular incarnation of the tour uh, is, is, is a very cozy situation, <laughs> I think. Uh, my girlfriend Lena with me and my, my three dogs. I know Danny's got his whole family with him. Mike had his family for a time. John j had his family just right up, up until, until today. today. Yeah. It's been tight, and, but it's been nice, I gotta say. All of us pretty much are neat freaks to an extreme sometimes. We're very conscious of the fact that when you're touring together, the bus is your home. You might step on an occasional toy in the hallway <laughs> on the way to the bathroom in the middle of the night. You know. I don't get us wrong. I let these guys go ahead and take over the partying aspect as far as the alcoholism is concerned. I mean, there's many a nights where seven, eight dozen bottles of alcohol are being bled through over the course of an evening. It's got a lot of friends who drink too, you know? They can't take yes, just all the yes, credit, yes, just yes. us. You can give yourselves a lot of credit. <laughs> we don't need another way to die. When we repent in time, the time bomb is ticking. You know what is this thing? Our future is fading. Is there any hope we'll survive? It's just another way to die.